Australians may be among the world's best recyclers of household rubbish, but we can still do better. Contamination means up to 10% of what's collected ends up in landfill. Football star and environmental ambassador Chris Judd says that's easily fixed. Recycling, we've been doing it for years, but it does still cause some confusion. Sometimes cans and things are a little bit confusing. I suppose I could, yeah, be a little bit more educated about it. The average household throws out 1.3 tonnes of rubbish each year. We recycle more than 62% of our packaging waste, but we still have some way to go. We're still throwing around over 20% of recyclable stuff in with our normal garbage, so that's kind of what we've got to work on in a little bit. Contamination results in up to 10% of materials ending up in landfill. Carlton's Chris Judd is an avid recycler and says plastic bags are a no-no. Food is also a contaminant. This dip container's still got a fair bit of dip in there, so just try and clean out the food before you put things in the recycling bin. Vizzy has several recycling plants. This one processes 560 tonnes of material a day. We're separating paper, cardboard, aluminium, steel, plastic and glass here. Methods range from crude handling to sophisticated machines separating the various plastics. And this is how the separated material ends up, crushed into various bales, ready to be turned into new products, including bottles, bolts, clothing and even the interior roof lining for some cars. The overall aim of recycling is to reduce landfill and our reliance on virgin resources. By doing it, we're helping save the planet. Alan Rascal, 7 News.